Oh. Something is infiltrating my system. Just some What's error. going on, Sam? What is that noise? Welcome back guys, this is Cosmo and this is Will We Make It, the channel solely focused on creating, trading, and gaming. You know they say it takes the average gamer about 20 minutes, 40 minutes to an hour to decide whether or not a game is good or they will enjoy playing it. Well that's what we're going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and do a little game preview. You guys let me know in the comments if you enjoy it, if you like the game, maybe it'll be something that you like to play, something you would like to see. I'll give you my take on it. And with that, let's get right to the game. Welcome back guys, this is Cosmo and welcome. The game we are going to play or preview is called Observation. And I've read about this game. Um, it's a mystery thriller. Um, you're basically an astronaut uh, alone on a space station. You don't know what happened to your crew. Um, and things aren't working right. So you have to find out what the hell's going on. Uh, we'll play a good you know 20 40 minutes maybe an hour depending on how it goes Just let me know what you guys think in the comments and let's get started Observation. Ten kilometers above the earth. So we're not that far from. We're not out in some deep space somewhere. I guess that's good. As I said, you play the uh, AI oh, give me something. here, so we're basically trying to help. Sam, are you there? Respond. Yeah, I'm here. Controls unlocked. Hold L2 to enter response mode. Okay. 
possible match. Respond. I am here. Oh, God. Ooh, I sound like some British oh, thank God. butler. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Sam, you seem to have booted up in Module 8. I'm going to relocate you to the Horizon Utility Hub in Module 9. That should give you access to limited system diagnostics. Hang on. Great. Listen, I'm stuck in the Horizon airlock in Module 11. I need to get into 9, but I'm not sure if it's safe to open this hatch door. Can you give me hull and pressure diagnostics on Module 9? Okay, I see. Pressure safe, power low, all contacts true, system links connected. Okay. Is that all I need to do? Do I need to press anything here? Safe, possible match. Module 9 is fully pressurized. Okay, that's good. Good. Are the adjacent contact points from 9 intact? Module 9 hull contact points to adjacent modules read true. Good. We're still connected. Uh, something is vibrating, Sam. Can you check the hull contact points on the other modules? Oh, sure. Why not? Let's see. Uh-oh. Module 10, hull contact points to 12, read false. Suggesting that Module 12 is no longer securely attached to the station. Shit. I think Josh might have been in Module 12. Oh, well, he's gone. Okay. I'm coming through to nine. Sam! The hatch door is jammed shut! <sighs> the controls aren't responding. See if you can restore power. Sam, you still there? Oh. Something is infiltrating my system. Just some What's error. What's going on, Sam? What is that noise? Sam, what is that? Sam, a response! What the hell is going on? Whoa. No, I don't want to bring her. Oh, well, did I just die? <laughs> really quick end of the game. Something appeared to be messing with my circuitry, it appears. Oh my god, is she dead? Did I just kill her? Wake up. Self-diagnostic procedure. And what errors are you showing? Run self-diagnostic. Memory core order. Relocation network diagnostics run check. Auto connection test to all station modules. Module relocation 
network is non-operational crew assistance required. Please repeat your previous request. I need you to run diagnostics on yourself to see what you still have access to. Relocation functions are offline. I require auto routing to access module cameras. Okay, I can manually relocate you, but once I get out of here, I'll get your systems up and running. Definitely something gonna be wrong with my memory code. I mean, it's anything like me. core has been corrupted. I have lost significant station data. Okay. So most of your system links and data logs are gone. Sam, you will need to scan, download, and recover as much data as you can. We need to get you back to your old self. Yes, please. Let's get back to my old self. Now, see if we can find and locate the crew. Connection between crew tracker functionality and SAM OS has been severed. So it's working, but the link is cut. I'll need to reconnect it in Central. Josh? May? Anyone? Shit. Okay. Yeah. I can't get out of here. The hatch controls aren't working. It might be a safety lockdown. You'll have to override the hatch from Module 9. Okay. I'm auto-routing you back to the utility hub in Module 9. Camera movement should be online now. Run a test. Okay. Looks good. Camera cycling should be active as well. Check the other cameras. Great. I can see your live feed updating from here. There should be a system links reset procedure document on the wall somewhere in there. Find it and scan it. Your scan range is limited, so use your camera zoom to get closer. Procedure shows terminal input. 
code that allows a crew member to reset SAM system link functionality in the event of software failure. Warning, this procedure will require reconnection to all system links station-wide only perform after a full reset. Okay. okay. That should be reinstalling the system link interface. Use your cameras to locate the hatch controls and any other integrated systems and equipment. EAS-11 airlock hatch controls. Controls. I need to get out of here. Listen here, lady. Wait your freaking turn. You see what I'm freaking trying to do? I gotta get all my stuff back. Alright? Chill the fuck out. You ain't going nowhere. Uh, I don't know where the ESA hatch controls are there, lady. enough air in there. Add the ESA hatch controls. I don't see any ESA hatch controls. Let me see here. Yeah, I can open it. Guidance spheres, best practice, development and control of microgravity. Guidance spheres on observation is overseen by Dr. Emma Fisher. Hey, that's you. 
operator interface for guidance figures can be found throughout a graphical user interface that can be located at crew members' workstations and is a planned upgrade to the existing SAM system during the observation mission. Guidance spheres are propelled by short harmless emissions of CO2 and allow the user to inspect and repair both internal and external ship apparatus. Microgravity guidance spheres are still at the experimental stage. Okay. Use your system link interface to open the EAS-11 airlock. That's it. It's open. I'm out. Good work, Sam. Yay. Okay. See ya, Torquette. Let's get this up and running. He's such a whiner. Josh? I don't know if you can hear me, but... Oh, I hate these things. All right. You have a thing for artificial Josh, intelligent robots? If you're in Computer? EAS module 12, then stay put. The hull connection isn't secure, and most of our systems are underpowered. I'll work something out. Josh? Houston? We don't have no communication. Anyone? We got any communication? What? Uh, wait a minute, Sam. Our internal communication network is fully online. Where has everyone gone? I don't know. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh, okay. Alien station. Station. That doesn't sound good, whatever that is. Right, Sam, you should have access to your OS now. Not about time. Enter the server systems You can now relocate to any module and view its camera feeds. In the EAS arm, at least. Okay. Try it now. Find that fire, Sam. Oh shit, there's a fire somewhere, huh? Okay. Uh, relocate the target. Map data missing. Switch. This is where the fire is, obviously. There it is. There is a fire out of control in EAS 4. Shit, I'm on my way! Did I do something? <laughs> you guys have any extinguishers that we can use? Where did we put up the fire? I can see it. Okay. 
Open ES5, ES5, where's ES5? ES4, where's this coming from, guy? Looks like you already have the hatch system links. Good. Get ready. Fire suppression override. Dr. Emma Fisher. Okay, Sam. I need you to get ready and open the door. On three. Are you ready? Open what door? <laughs> One. Hold R. Two. Three. 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 Open the S4 hatch. Okay. What the hell, Sam? On three! <laughs> Okay, well, let me get to the freaking door. Oh, I'll do it myself. Sorry. That's <laughs> it, come on! <laughs> hey, it's hard to do these controls, goddammit. Sam! <coughs> get the vents on in here. Clear these fumes. That did something right. That's it, it's working. The fumes are dissipating now. How bad is it? Damage report. Report damage in EAS4. The rack units have been damaged beyond any functional use. Overall, that's not too bad, considering. What started it? What was the source, Sam? We need to stop it happening again. Aliens. Several of the storage lockers have been severely damaged by the fire. Good to know. Can you find the source of the fire, though, please, sir? Huh. Well, you want to make Jesus. I think it's in here. Residue on panel LFE1 indicates a potential source. What? That's just a blank plate. Let me see. Something is coming out of the side. 
Aliens. What is that? It's like a thick grease. Don't touch it. Or oh oil. God, you're infected. Dark red. There's maybe something in storage above that's leaking. Oh, come on. What now? Sadly, give me a status report. There is significant stress being applied to EAS-12. Immediate separation recommended. Please, if there is anyone in Module 12, make yourself known now. About to get lifted, injected. We are about to jettison the module. Someone, please respond. Oh. This is getting much worse. Okay. Sam, get ready for the separation procedure. Oh boy. First, process my authorization code and give me a security override key. One four Two four one three three two four. Sam, come on! What the f Authorization one four four two four one three three two four. Two nine. Zero, three, four, one, nine. Got it. Inputting now. Hurry, Sam. Target the jets and push the module away safely. That's excellent. Oh, my God. Sam, target the jets in the correct sequence. Oh, my God. What? We don't have much time. Go, go, go. If you don't fire them in the correct order, the oh, module God, might tear this... off. <laughs> oh my God, this is hard. You gotta be first sight. Jesus. I hope to God if anyone was in there. They have their suit on. Sam. We've stopped spinning. We've stabilized. I think... I think we're okay. Listen, I'm going to relocate you to the external cameras and see if we can get a better view of the station. Oh God, low orbit. Did you guys see that? Low orbit, low orbit. Stabilization lost or some shit. The signals are weak. Which means Distorted. we're tumbling to Earth. I don't understand. We should be right above Houston. Can you detect any damage, Sam? EAS-12 is still tethered with unusual structural damage. It's like a hole has been cut out of it. What would do that? The primary solar panel array on the EAS arm has been torn off. 
That explains the lack of power. You arm upper modules are badly damaged. The damage seems to be localized to the upper part of the arms. I'm going to connect to the distance cow. We should see where we are above Earth and if we've lost any altitude. Uh, yeah, about that. Um, uh, oh my God. What? That's. That's sad. Where the hell's Earth? brought you here. What? It seems. What? Why? was the first about 45 minutes of observation and it seems pretty exciting it's a little point and click not much action but it's definitely worth playing i think uh i think i might do a part two of this let me know in the comments if you want to see a part two um and we'll end it from here Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.